like to present, humbly present, this drama, which is the Shri Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami at their first meeting with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Om Yana Dhanadasya Yana Dhanashvakaya Chadashu Unami Tamina Tasma Shri Guruvi Namaha. Just over 500 years ago, part of India came under the control of Muslim rulers. At that time, there was a king named Nawab Hussein Shah who ruled over Bengal. Once, he constructed a very high monument, engaging thousands of workers. So many expert masons were working very hard. Look, here comes the king himself. He is going up to the top of the monument to see the architecture in progress. Oh, King, the monument is almost complete. We just have a few finishing touches, that's all. Oh, how wonderful! Excellent! You have done a most exceptional job. There is no monument like this throughout the whole of India. Oh, don't worry. You should go and find two 
very expert masons and request them to come with you to meet the king.
He always desires your good fortune. And by His mercy, all your business is successful. By His blessings, you will attain victory everywhere. But what is His mission? Why are you questioning me? Better that you ask your own mind. You are the king, and therefore the representative of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Therefore you can understand this better than I. I consider Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to be the Supreme Personality of Godhead. There is no doubt about it. Rupa Goswami and his brother decided after much consideration to go see the Lord in Kavnigo. Thus, in the dead of night, they changed their dress and came to the Lord in a mood of great humility.
my dear Dr. Kasa and Dr. Malik. You two brothers are my eternal servitors. From now on, your names shall be Sri Sanatan and Sri Rupa. Now please give up this humility. It is breaking my heart. I have understood by your previous letters your heart. And that is why I have sent you this shlok. If a woman is attached to a man other than her husband, she diligently performs her duties. But within, she is always thinking of meeting with a paramour. In other words, you should continue your household affairs and your occupations externally, but internally to develop your Krishna consciousness. I have had no reason to come to Bengal. I have only come here to see you two brothers. It is very good that you have come here today. Now you can go very happily and without any fear, for Krishna will surely deliver you. By the blessings of the Mahaprabhu and all the Vaishnavas, Sri Rupa and Sanatana Goswami were able to get to quit their prestigious jobs and, can't, and get to live their vast wealth and dedicate their lives to the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. My dear Nityananda, Haridas, Gadadhar, please, all of you, bestow your blessings on these two brothers so that they may be delivered by your mercy. Sri Rupa and Sanatana Goswami had something to humbly submit at the lotus feet of Guru Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Dear Lord, although the king of Hussein Shah is very respectful towards you, still he belongs to the Yavana class should not be trusted. Please, therefore, kindly depart from this place. Yes, and we also think there is no need for such a huge crowd to accompany you to Vrindavan, as this is not a fitting way to go on Parikama. If you go with hundreds and thousands of people like this, then you may experience some difficulties. Yes, you are both right. I have made a mistake. If I go like this, then some king may think I'm trying to invade his kingdom. Not only that, but how will I care for all these people? It will cause a disturbance. And then, how can I have the proper mood for entering Vrindavan? You have spoken very well. <laughs> Thus, Mahaprabhu took the advice of Sri Sanatana Goswami and later went to Vrindavan with only one companion. Later on, upon receiving shiksha from Mahaprabhu, the two brothers wrote many very important books, of which without them we would not be able to understand the teachings and inner moods of Mahaprabhu. 
Because Bhagavad Gita, this is the root of all the books, all made only on the basis of this book. And so many things. He has written the um, explanation of Bhagavad regarding to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, explained one shloka. Uh, Atma Ramasya Mayo with Sadham Bhattacharya 9 plus 40 told and plus 61. Uh, oh, so hundreds of explanations. Sanatana Goswami followed this and in his commentary oh, he had explained all these slokas like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So many meanings of Sarva, 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 or Atma, Atma, like this. So we know what is Bhakti and what is the gradation of Bhakti, what is the gradation of uh, no, no, Krishna, no, no, Godhood. Bhagavan ki bhagavata or bhagavati kara tara taramna dono ham ni So you did my blessings to you all players. I don't know name. So together my blessings to you all. Go. Brahman.